Hi guys, my name is Luke Davis, and today I'll be showing you guys how to spice the new J-Braid Hollow. For what you need, basically we'll need a lighter, a pair of scissors, your, uh, your needle kit and needles, depending on the size of the leader and hollow you have. Today we're going to be spicing some 100 pound Saltiga leader into some 80 pound J-Braid. Alright, so we have some 80 pound J-Braid Hollow. Um, this stuff here has got a nice waxing coating, waxy coating on it, which is, makes it nice and easy to splice. Um, on the other side we have some 100 pound Saltiga leader. To start with, you're going to want to find the needle that fits your leader. It pays to have one that's quite snug for the leader so it doesn't fall out while you're splicing it. So just check the size that you need and just find one that fits snugly. All right, if it is a little bit loose, it pays, a little trick you can do is you can just put a kink in the mono. Um, and by adding by adding that little kink, it just helps it from stop slipping out of the needle when it's inside the hollow. So we'll just slide that into the needle, push that kink past it, and it's just made it a lot tighter, a lot harder for it to come out. Alrighty. From there we're going to grab our hollow, and we're going to come up about 40 centimetres. We're just going to push the hollow together, just to expose the weave to make it a bit easier for the needle to go inside of. And we'll slowly work the needle inside the hollow. From there we'll feed the needle up the hollow, maybe about, sort of, minimum you want to go about 50 centimetres, but if you're using this for trolling you can go anywhere up to two metres. Slowly just work the hollow on, pulling some onto the needle, and then just pulling that down onto the, the mono so it doesn't bunch up too much, because you'll find if it bunches up a lot it'll push the, the mono out of the needle. Alright, so we've gone far enough up our hollow braid, <coughs> we'll just pop the needle out of the hollow, pull that all the way out, pull the needle off. Now on the end of your mono there, if you've got a flat edge or anything like that, just make sure you trim it and just try and cut it at a nice 45 degree angle so that it doesn't damage the hollow or anything like that when it's sitting inside. Basically what you're going to want to do from there is you're going to want to run your fingers down the full extent of the splice to make sure that you've stretched the hollow really tightly over the mono so that it doesn't slip inside. Now, now that we've done that, we've, pulled the, we've really tightly pulled the hollow over the outside. We're going to finish this, this splice off with a very simple finish and we're just going to half hitch the tag end back over the hollow and the mono going back towards the braid. All right. To start with, we'll do a, a, what we call an over half hitch by going over the two lines and creating a half hitch. Just pull that one tight and then we're going to do what we call an under. And so we're going to alternate between under and over. And so we'll go under the two lines and pull the tag in through. And just alternate those for about, about 20 times. So after you pull each half hitch through, just make sure you snug them up very tightly. You'll see the braid's actually changing colour from the pressure that's been applied to it, and that's generally when you know that it's been pulled tight. So now that we've done about 20 half hitches, basically what you want to make sure is, if you want to test how strong it is, if you hold the half hitches and push away, if that doesn't slip, basically you've done enough to stop it from slipping. All this is doing is there is no knot or strength in that, it's just to stop the slip, basically stop the hollow from being sleeved and coming off the end. So just give it a quick check, make sure you can't pull it off. If you can't, we'll do a finishing knot, and we're going to do a five turn risotto. So basically we'll go to do a half hitch and we're just going to go through five times. All right, we'll then pull that down. Before you pull it tight, we then have this loop and you'll see it wants to come undone. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to undo it and the wraps are going to come from here and just wrap down the bottom by the other half hitches. So we're just going to unwind that Once it's been unwound, we'll just hold it there and we'll pull that tag end until that loop pulls out. We'll just snug that up nice and tight. And trim that tag end off. Leave, I like to leave about five or six mil. And from there, what that allows me to do is it allows me to burn a nice bulb which will stop that from ever coming undone. So we just create, use our lighter, just use the base of the flame so you can control the heat and just burn that down. And before it gets there, basically just stop it from, from burning so it doesn't burn the other braid. 
and it creates a nice bulb which will stop any of those half hitches from coming undone. And so that, there's your finished splice. It's nice and fast, nice and easy, and 100% strong. This j Braid Hollow, it's great for all types of fishing, anything from trolling, deep dropping, casting, and all types of boat fishing. Basically, it gives you a seamless join that's 100% line strength, because there is no knot, it's seamless and just runs through the guides so nicely.